Hey guys, it's Suresh. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. Well, it's been a hot second since we have taken a look at an articulated silk stone here on my channel. <laughs> Last girl, of course, was uh, Proudly Pink, who no one made the distinction that that's actually what Hexgen was dressed up as for DragCon. <laughs> And I was shocked. Like, I think we were all shocked because we expected everyone to be all like, oh my God, it's a doll that Suresh hated. Da, 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 da. But no one really made the connection. So anyway, you guys know that I love my silk stones. And since we're no longer getting good silk stones, unfortunately, we've only had one this year. I think I mentioned this in a previous video, but we've had Proudly Pink. And I think we have another one just about to drop. She's in this big black and white ball gown type of thing. She has like black and white streaked hair. So today we're gonna be taking a look at Elegant Rose cocktail dress. She is a really pretty doll actually that came out in February of 2018, so a little over a year ago. Though she's really cute and she has beautiful platinum blonde hair, I don't know, like something about the promotional photos just didn't like scream to me. But all the same, I of course got her and today we're going to um, get a closer look at her. And I think this was the first doll to have this new pink and white um, box that, again, I'm, I'm not crazy about these boxes. I might have mentioned that before, but I just thought that the cream color boxes that we had before were just so elegant. Do you know what I mean? I understand that they're trying to go with a bit more of a contemporary feel for this, but I don't know. Something about this just looks cheap to me. Shall we go ahead and get a look at Miss Elegant Rose cocktail dress, right? So we're gonna go ahead and get the lid off here. Go ahead and pull that ribbon apart. Oh, you guys know I live for that. <laughs> so there's the inside of the box. White, just white. <laughs> Are we ready? One, two, and three. <gasps> oh, oh. <gasps> you guys oh my god she's actually really pretty in person <gasps> oh my god okay okay girl i'm kind of living not gonna lie i am really drawn to her face actually with this beautiful platinum hair and these sweet little drop earrings of hers um with the red lips i mean it's like bringing back memories of like silk stones from bygone days do you know what i mean looking down here at her beautiful dress i see a sweet little bubble skirt here which you guys know i live for a good bubble skirt um a little bow here at her waist i see a really interesting little top here and then here is her little hat to the left beautiful shoes and stockings in true silkstone style and then here in the back we see that there are twenty thousand of her made worldwide along with a little description of her ensemble and all the company information. I'm just having like such sad, sad emotions right now because I really feel like the Silkstone um, doll collection is like being phased out. And I know that we've had many chats about this on social and you guys are asking me this, that and the other. You guys, I don't know anything more than what you know, <laughs> um, unfortunately. Um, yes, I am friendly with many of the Mattel designers, and yes, I've had, you know, multiple chats with them, et cetera, et cetera, but I don't really even think they know, to be honest. I feel like it's one of those situations where everything is very tight-lipped, um, and, you know, it is what it is. So, all right, uh, she comes out of her box just like so. There, of course, is the tissue and the ribbon. Here in the back, of course, we have um, her certificate of authenticity. And okay, right behind that, I see her care instructions. So there we go. Really, really detest that they now tape this to the back. I, I don't love that at all. Just <laughs> stop taping it back here. It makes it feel so cheap. <laughs> it's just, ugh, just. By the way, this is a gold label doll, so she has gold label numbering. Let's go ahead and get Miss Silkstone out of here. Can you imagine how beautiful this ensemble would look like on a traditional Silkstone body? Oh, girl. Might try putting it on a traditional Silkstone body, though, let me tell you, their proportions compared to these girls, very different. Like, these girls have more of like a model muse body, if you caught my video that I did, I think it was last year, perhaps, um, when I compared the uh, different body types, I think I did an articulated silk stone, a model muse, and then a traditional silk stone. And they all have very different measurements. 
and sometimes you can get things to work you know especially if they're like stretchy but um en general they're not really the same i'm gonna go ahead and remove her little hat as well it's double-sided taped in here oh interesting look at that it's like a heart shape hmm. okay so there's no brim in the back all right girl the tape the tape oh interesting snip and snip so here is the base portion to her stand um it is lightly weighted here it's the traditional black silkstone stand that we have seen time and time again these days they don't say barbie or anything on them they're not stamped at all you wouldn't really even know that it's a mattel product but whatever it is what it is y'all know that i don't really use those doll stands i much prefer the pretty integrity ones Yay! oh wow you guys oh, i'm liking her so much more than i thought i would <gasps> she does also have um plastic underneath her gloves here which is smart because Maybe the gloves stain like most dark fabrics do on these really light um, skin tones here. There's ribboning interwoven into her dress. Let me go ahead and try and get this out. How on earth? Oh, it's a dress. <gasps> Cute. Okay. We're getting a little sneak peek here. Um, I totally did not realize that this was a dress underneath here. Adorable. Okay. There the ribbon comes. Goodness. I feel like many of you guys that have this doll referenced um, a number of Dior images um, for the inspiration. And yes, I don't think that's any surprise. I think we all know at this point that Robert Best and Barbie love Dior. And a lot of her inspiration comes from Dior. What's happening here? Okay, you guys, the skirt is actually basted shut. I have to say this taffeta feels quite lovely. There we go. Okay, <sighs> loving these snap closures. Thank goodness, no Velcro, okay. This dress here definitely reminds me of Gay Parisienne, who I reviewed some time back here on my channel. She was so, so pretty, had like the gorgeous um, Dior and Balenciaga-esque bubble skirt, which Our Beauty Today does as well. Hi, hi. She also has a little clutch here that is like, what, stitched to her glove, okay interesting i'm gonna go ahead and get this plastic off of her because i don't love that oh wow it comes right off with the glove there there is that mangy little hand of hers and that weird little arm oh you poor thing what did they do to you over at the mattel design center cute little hang tag it says barbie fashion model collection on it it's the same as what we saw in the little um box label so it's the same type of design yeah it's all right i don't love it because it looks kind of cheap to me but it is what it is girl it is what it is on the plus side the gloves do slip on her hands much easier than some of my other gloves on the articulate silk stones do so that's good they chose a good fabric for it the silk combo is good she does also have a little hairnet on here it's like a brown color hairnet i'm gonna go ahead and very carefully pull that off as well Ta-da! i am surprised that i like her as much as i do tbh she does also have little earring guards on so we're gonna go ahead and get those off because y'all know that i don't like all these little things on my dolls i do like the earrings they are very traditional silkstone earrings i've seen these before in a number of previous silkstone dolls i have no qualms with them reusing the jewelry i just wish that they would use more of it do you know what i mean let's put her hat on and see how she looks huh okay here is elegant rose cocktail dress barbie fully dressed in all of her little accoutrement for you guys to get a better look at. She actually is really, really pretty, you guys. Um, I'm caught off guard by how darling she is in person, TBH. The hat is a little odd in that it just kind of sits on her head. I might need to get like a, a dressmaker pin and just kind of pin it into place to get it a little bit closer to her head. But I appreciate it because it adds an interesting little layer here. Beautiful jewelry, beautiful makeup, love the red lips. Die, of course, for that gorgeous silkstone face. Oh, I miss these girls so much. I actually really am enjoying the platinum hair with this color combination. And her little ensemble is really, really pretty. 
It's a beautiful two-piece little taffeta set here. Um, the top appears to be a little shell that's sitting on top of a dress. So I'm excited to get a closer look at that. She has beautiful black satin gloves on that are nice and thick. They have a nice sheen to them and they're actually quite easy to get on because you know these dolls have those spindly little fingers that catch everything. <laughs> yeah. She has a little clutch there that's sewed onto her glove so it stays on quite easily. The print of the fabric here is beautiful as well. She has black hose on and beautiful black stiletto pumps here. I left the rubber bands on because sometimes these shoes tend to fly off because her toes are like so, so close to the front there that you can actually see her pedicure. Do you see it? Here she is from the back. We see that she has a little case of box hair, but that'll fluff out naturally, hopefully. Um, nice tailoring, beautiful craftsmanship. She is really nicely made. Then we see that black line going down the back of her pantyhose, so that's sweet. I took the elastic band off the shoes and lo and behold, they are now flying off. <laughs> so I really adore this ensemble. The more I'm looking at it, the more I'm falling in love with it. So that's a good thing because it's been a while since I've really like loved the articulated silk stones um, in their own fashion, right? Oh, cute, it's fully lined even. <gasps> okay, Barbie, yes, girl. This is adorable, wow. Oh, and here's the little dress, oh, cute. It's a little strapless dress with the little bow here at the waist. She does have the little rubber straps on here, which y'all know I will be snipping off right way <laughs> what's nice is the way the dress is cut it cuts right at the um, articulation point for her breastplate which i think is so unsightly on these like mangy little dolls so i appreciate the way it's cut for sure oh my god this is adorable i feel like the last time i was really like this kind of impressed by articulated silkstone uh, barbie was black and white tweed suit her ensemble i lived for um and i feel the same way about this ensemble this is gorgeous oh my goodness so i don't know why but some of you have asked me how i cut the rubber straps off of this it's quite simple guys i just grab a pair of scissors and i cut them off mm -hmm. i make sure to stay right at that seam line there and then snip, snip, snip away. I do tug on the strap a little bit so that it um, kind of pulls away from the fabric a little bit. I understand why they do this for like, you know, display purposes, transportation purposes. It, it helps keep the dress on. And I much rather this to double-sided tape because double-sided tape I despise. However, now that she's here, um, there's no need for her to have gross rubber straps. Do you know what I mean? The one thing I will say though, like, Looking at Integrity Toys um, quality and Barbie quality uh, is obviously there's a lot. Yes, I know, we talked about this before, but even though this is beautiful, like it's not finished as nicely as it could be. Do you know what I mean? And I understand that there's 20,000 of these dresses that they have to make, I get it, that's a lot of work. Um, but you know, y'all got factories all around the world, so. Here is Elegant Rose Cocktail Dress Barbie in the buff so that you guys can get a look at her interestingly tiny little articulated silkstone physique. Let's go ahead and start here with her face. Obviously, she has the original 1959 face on the silkstones that we love. Her makeup is really pretty, you guys. I will say she has beautiful winged eyes here in black. A little bit of like a charcoal gray there in her lid a little beauty mark under her left eye and the red lip is such a pretty combination like this is what i live for in silk stones a classic coloring beautiful shapes just love nice soft eyebrow there that is actually a really pretty compliment with her platinum hair there are her earrings we have seen these earrings before in many a silk stone they're like an odd little uh, star shape almost with the little faux pearl drop there's little stones in there as well so they shimmer and shine gorgeous love 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 and then her hair is really really pretty actually it's very platinum-y blonde with a slight kind of blondish hue to it and it's a little low ponytail there 
we see an elastic band that's holding it in place which always freaks me out because these things do kind of tend to melt over time but you know what you gonna do girl what you gonna do and then the ponytail is tucked in right underneath her neck there there's a little bit of flyaway action happening so i might just take a little spritz of hairspray to kind of keep it all in place but i like the overall effect that it's giving it's very like ladylike and chic and worthy of a silk stone. I also like the little part here, the side part on her um, hair. Beautiful. I actually really, really, really love um, the face and the hair very much. And then the rest of her body is indeed the articulated silkstone body that we have seen before. Nothing particularly new there. She does have a little red manicure there and then a red pedicure to match. Um, yeah, in terms of her articulation, it's just like so here at the shoulder, just like so here at the elbow, just like so here at her wrist, and then she moves underneath her bust just like so, and then her head moves, obviously. She does also move at her waist. A number of you have asked me if she does or not, and there we go, just like so, she does. And then her leg kicks up just like that, bends here at the knee, and then she kicks out, and then you can actually see the little black elastic band mechanism that she is strung with. She kicks back just like so as well. Now I will say, compared to the very first um, Articular of the Silkstone that came out, I think it was the Little Black Dress Doll, she's much easier to move around now. Like the Little Black Dress Doll was like insanely, insanely difficult to move. So they have gotten a little bit better with their construction on that. Um, here she is from the back standard standard she always um, these body types always remind me of uh like artist mannequins you know the little wood mannequins that you see on artist table where they use for inspiration for motion and stuff <laughs> it just looks just you know like that and i just wish that we had a little bit more heft right here and right here to the bust like the traditional silkstones have such a you know voluminous hourglass shape to them so yeah that's that here is her beautiful taffeta strapless dress i adore this piece you guys this is just gorgeous it's fully lined which i very much appreciate um, the silhouette is of a bubble dress here so that is adorable bubble because well the skirt just looks like a little bubble and it's uh, created by taking the lining and keeping that nice and straight through to the waist. So what's actually happening is the inside lining is kind of pulling this outside fabric up, thus creating a, this bubble effect, right? So we love that very much. I really like the little bow accent here at the waist. That is adorable. It's a pre-made bow, so it can't be taken off or anything like that. We see the closings here, one, two snaps in like that gunmetal gray sort of color. And then uh, we see the center seam here in the back going down just like so. This is what I mean about the finishings not being super complete. Like that could have been finished off a little bit nicer, but it's not. So, you know, okay. The fabric is a beautiful taffeta. It has a nice crisp feel to it. Very silky touched as well, which I really love. This beautiful rose pattern on it is so to scale for her body, so that is a great um, little attention to detail. I appreciate that very much. On camera, it is so, so beautiful and photogenic, and in person, it actually is quite lovely too. Um, we see that the dress is fully lined indeed, black lining all the way through the top portion here, and the skirt, which you can see all the way through, so that is really nice. I appreciate that very much. We don't see any seaming here at the neckline because it's been tucked in, uh, to the lining so that's exactly how it should be and then uh, here at the hem we see the lining meeting with that taffeta to create the bubble effect and then right here on the inside we see her sweet little barbie fashion model collection tag now these i'm surprised they have actually kept with the original cream colors theme so love that little throwback meanwhile can we just talk about how pretty my background is like that sunset is looking gorgeous on camera <laughs> here is her sweet little shell that goes over the dress it too is in that beautiful same black taffeta with the red rose design on top 
sweet little cap sleeves to give the little illusion of a sleeve but nothing too severe there so it has that nice dainty feel to it we see some pleating action here at the neckline that is creating this interesting volume and shape to the piece love that here in the back we see two snaps in that same gunmetally color one of them looks like it's about to fall off any moment so that's not very exciting, but you know, thank God I can sew. Um, and then here on the inside, we see the piece is fully lined indeed in that same lining fabric that the dress is lined in. So yeah, that is a really nice touch. I actually really adore this piece and am excited to mix and match it with some of my other dolls. Here is her sweet little organza hat. It is double layered, which you can see just like so, and then hemmed here at the brim, at the very edge of it. Um, it's nicely done. The craftsmanship is indeed lovely. And then the actual little portion that sits on top of her head appears to be the same fabric that the lining is in, that the dress and the little shell are lined in. So that's interesting. And then we see a little silk black bow there on the back. And then again, the shape of the hat is so unique. Um, it has a very interesting and beautiful vintage feel to it. Here's a close-up of her right glove that has the little evening clutch attached to it. It's a silk glove that has a nice feel to it, almost satin-like actually. It's not super, super thick, so like a silk satin indeed. Has that beautiful sheen, which I love. Very easy to get on and off her little fingers. And then here is the little evening clutch one little snap there in that same gun medley color that we saw on her ensemble it does open up but um, nothing really on the inside in terms of lining or anything just like so but uh, yeah it's sweet and simple in its construction and you know i appreciate that they gave us something like this so um i'm here for it here are her sweet little shoes they are beautiful black stiletto dorsey pumps they're actually made of that slightly squishy rubbery material that we used to see silkstone shoes in so they mold nicely to her feet i adore that they have a nice gloss to them as well a nice sharp toe and then a little peekaboo detail here right above the toe box there so the yeah i adore this and this definitely is a new shoe sculpt and that i don't think i've seen this before and i am here for it you guys here for it here are her little pantyhose they are very much the same type of pantyhose that we have seen before i think in all of our other silk stones at least in the recent collections it uh, is nice and stiff and it feels quite thick which is good because when you're getting it on and off of these um, articulated silk stones sometimes it pulls here at the knee with their knee joints and stuff so yeah it has an elastic waist right there and then the two lines coming down the back of the leg which of course give it that stylized silk stone look so there we have it guys this is elegant rose cocktail dress from the 2018 barbie fashion model collection she is an articulated silk stone and i will tell you she has superseded my expectations to be honest and i am actually really 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 in love with her and i did not expect to be i totally expected her to kind of deflate and not live up to what i thought you know a silkstone should live up to so if you are in the market for a new silkstone you are a silkstone lover and appreciator like myself um, and you can find her somewhere. Um, she's unfortunately no longer available at barbie.com, but I'm sure that you can find her on Amazon or a third-party doll dealer. I'll put some links down below so that you guys can check her out. I encourage you to get her and add her to your collection. I think she's really, really pretty. This ensemble itself is just so beautiful and lovely in its construction. So yeah, I am happy to have her. Hello, darling. And I can't wait to display her with the rest of my girls. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you learned something. Please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to hit that little bell icon after the subscribe button. That way you guys are notified every Thursday when I upload a new video. Follow me on Instagram. I'm at SureshNY. That's generally where I post all my updates. And until I see you guys again, Barbie and I are headed to the Seattle Arboretum. We are invited to high tea with a bunch of our fabulous friends, some who are visiting from out of town. Barbie is excited to be here in Seattle with me and we are in tea time finery and ready to go. Wherever you guys are in the world, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Big hugs and kisses from me and Barbie here in Seattle. Mwah! And I'll see you guys again next Thursday for another video, okay? Bye.